Hello, welcome back to the MOBS video trainings. What we're going to do today is uh, to see where uh, normally what we are uh, what we face in the remote desktop connection is that users are limited to one connections per session. So we're going to extend that. So primarily what we do is to go to administration administrative tools, remote desktop services, and host configurations. As you can see, there are various ways to enable these. Uh, primarily, the single session is to restrict each user to a single session. So turn it off, click OK, and there are uh, so many different ways that we can do it. Let's do it in group policy management. Create a new GPO for this remote desktop session enhancer. Click OK and edit the process. Uh, let's go to computer configurations and then admin templates. Admin templates. Then remote desktop services and then the session host connections there it is took me quite a while to look at this one remote desktop services not configured enabled and disabled uh, you're already familiar with this so as you can see that uh, over here it says if you disable this policy setting users so users are allowed to make unlimited simultaneous remote connections using remote desktop services. So let's disable it. This, this is one another way to do this. So let's do one other thing. Command GP update slash force to enforce the policy finally it's done there is another way we can do this by editing local uh, group policy GP edit dot MSC. It's the same thing. Administrative templates, Windows components, remote desktop, remote desktop. Where it is remote desktop services, session host, connections, restrict remote desktop service users services users to single remote desktop connections. As you can see, it's the same thing. If you disable this policy, users are allowed to make unlimited simultaneous connections. Disabled, apply, OK. And there is also another way. Uh, regged it. Let's hit local machine, then system, current control set. Uh, control 
It's supposed to be a TS, a terminal services, terminal server. There's supposed to be a word starting with an F. There it is. You see, the value should be zero. So it's already updated. <clears throat> so these are quite some ways to configure this. So as you can see, you can also have multiple sessions with this one. This is one session. Let's see if we could do another session. Connect. Session two. As you can see. Oops. That one kicked me out. Mm, yep. This is Windows 7. I'm running Windows 7 over here in this machine. So basically, it allows you to go uh, remote desktop in, in a single machine, um, on, on multiple machines. So since I have only two machines in the network, this is about it. Thank you for listening to the video. Hope it helps.